And when we talk about hope, we must also learn some lessons from this crisis. Why did it have to be so grave? Whose mistakes is the world paying for? Last night, we got you the first part of our investigation into the coronavirus outbreak. We told you how China destroyed evidence, how China tried to cover up. Tonight, we bring you the second part of our series, how this virus spread from China to the rest of the world, how the Wuhan virus crossed borders, traveled to faraway countries, creating new hotspots and leaving a trail of death along the way. Tonight, we can tell you for sure that human carriers from China took this disease around the world. Yes, travel restrictions were imposed, but they came too late. And there's only one reason for this delay. China's attempts to suppress the outbreak, China's resistance to global isolation measures, it slammed countries, remember, that imposed the first travel restrictions. China tried to hide the truth, but here are some facts to challenge the Chinese propaganda. One, the Chinese city of Wuhan is the epicenter of this outbreak. You cannot dispute that. The virus most likely came from a live animal market in Wuhan. And two, the first cases of this virus have been traced back to November last year, close to four months ago. China took forever to act. In fact, China acted only when it became impossible to hide the outbreak. It wasted crucial months. The first admission came only in the month of January. The virus was detected in November. The first lockdown came weeks later, on the 23rd of January. I repeat, it came too late. By the 23rd of January, when the lockdown happened, 5 million people had already left the city of Wuhan. Let that sink in. 5 million people possibly infected. The virus had been allowed to spread for several weeks. Millions of people who traveled in and out of Wuhan during this time became potential carriers. This happened during a major Chinese holiday, the Lunar New Year, a time when tens of millions of people travel home or go on a holiday. The Chinese New Year basically supercharged this virus. And this should give you an estimate. The world's biggest human migration the world's biggest human migration takes place during the Chinese Lunar New Year. According to one estimate, Chinese tourists were expected to make 450 million trips this year. And this includes both domestic and international travel. And these trips were scheduled between 24th and 30th of January. Bang in the middle of the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan. No wonder it spread like fire. It is difficult to put an exact number to determine how many Chinese carriers actually took the virus outside China, but there are many patterns and precedents that come in handy. And this, I can tell you, is an informed and well-researched assessment. The Journal of Travel Medicine published a paper in the month of January. It looked into the international spread of the Wuhan coronavirus. And just by commercial air travel, this study named 20 cities frequented by travelers from Wuhan during the Lunar New Year. That list includes some names. This list is on your screen. Let me read out the names of the countries mentioned here. Taiwan, Japan, Thailand, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, Australia and Indonesia. What is common between these countries? All of these countries are now dealing with an outbreak of coronavirus cases. The Chinese took them there. China took no lessons from the past. China has been a major exporter of disease. The SARS outbreak in 2003 had infected more than 8,000 people across 37 countries. Studies say that Chinese travelers took the SARS virus to 37 countries. 17 years later, in 2020, they're doing the same with another virus. China took no measures to ensure its citizens do not export deadly diseases across the world. Here's another set of numbers that you should see. In the year 2002, tourists from China made around 17 million trips overseas. By 2019, that figure rose to 180 million, from 17 to 180 million. Chinese tourists have flooded the world. Now, China says it has controlled the coronavirus. For the first time today, it reported zero new infections. I would take that claim with a pinch of salt. It's hard to trust China's figures. But let's say they're right. What is China doing? China is now imposing travel restrictions. It exported a virus. Now it doesn't want that virus to come back. The southern province of Guangdong 
that shares a border with Hong Kong has new rules for people traveling back from coronavirus hotspots. They're putting all travelers under a 14-day quarantine. Shanghai has adopted the same measures. China wants to insulate itself from the scourge that it gave the world.